Do you know the historic origins of the ever jolly Santa Claus and the mystery of the tomb that shrouds his legend? A riveting winter's tale indeed. Our familiar red-suited, gift-carrying figure is none other than St Nicholas, a bishop hailing from the ancient city of Myra, now modern-day Turkey. This generous and kind-hearted man lived between 270 AD and 343 AD. His deeds still reverberate through time and is the inspiration behind our cherished Santa Claus. Now, where is the final resting place of this legendary figure? You would imagine it is somewhere cold, such as Finland or the North Pole. Hold on to your eggnog, folks, because the truth may surprise you. Suit up as we unravel the mystery of St. Nicholas, the man who morphed into the legend of Santa Claus and his mysterious tomb. Before we delve into the mystery of his tomb, let's take a closer look at who St. Nicholas was. Born in Patara, a city in ancient Anatolia, St. Nicholas was a bishop of Myra during the 4th century. He was known for his immense piety and generosity, traits that endeared him to his flock. His path to becoming a bishop was a testament to his deep-seated faith and commitment to serving the people. St. Nicholas was not born a saint, but his acts of kindness and generosity made him one in the eyes of the people. There are countless tales of his benevolence, but one story stands out. It is said that he once saved three impoverished sisters from a life of servitude by providing them with a dowry. He did this by throwing bags of gold through their window, which landed in stockings or shoes left by the fire. A story that might sound familiar to our Christmas traditions. Such acts of kindness did not remain confined to the city of Myra. Word of his deeds spread far and wide, crossing borders and transcending cultures. His legend travelled through time, inspiring the creation of a jolly gift-giver we all know and love, Santa Claus. The transformation didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual process influenced by folklore, tradition and even politics. But at the heart of it all was the figure of a kind bishop from Turkey whose acts of generosity have left an indelible mark on history. St. Nicholas's life was marked by kindness and generosity, traits that would later define the character of Santa Claus. His legacy continues to inspire and bring joy to millions around the world every year. And now, with the potential discovery of his tomb, we might be a step closer to unravelling the enigma that surrounds this beloved figure. But before we get to that, let's explore the controversies and scepticism that surround this earth-shattering discovery. The answer to the mystery of Santa Claus's resting place takes us to the ancient city of Myra in modern-day Turkey. Here, beneath the sun-baked stones and the whispering olive trees, a remarkable discovery was made. In the late 19th century, a team of intrepid archaeologists embarked on a painstaking excavation, their mission to unearth the secrets hidden deep within the ruins of this once thriving metropolis. As they sifted through layers of history, they stumbled upon a tomb, a tomb that would ignite a wave of excitement around the world. The tomb was a modest one, yet its unassuming appearance belied its profound significance. Within its time-worn walls, the archaeologists found an inscription, an inscription that would send a thrill of anticipation through their hearts. It read, Here lies St. Nicholas, the Bishop of Myra. Could it be? Could they have found the final resting place of the legendary figure behind Santa Claus? The evidence, it seemed, was compelling. The location was right. St. Nicholas was known to have been the Bishop of Myra in the 4th century, the tomb's design was consistent with the period and the inscription. It was a tantalizing clue that seemed to confirm their wildest hopes. But the discovery was not without its challenges. The tomb had been ravaged by time and the elements. The skeletal remains were fragmented and incomplete. Yet through meticulous analysis, the archaeologists were able to piece together a picture of the man who once occupied the tomb. They found that the remains were of an elderly male, consistent with the age St. Nicholas would have been at the time of his death. The discovery sent ripples of excitement through the academic community and beyond. It seemed that the tomb of St. Nicholas, the man behind the beloved figure of Santa Claus, had finally been found. It was a discovery that connected us, in a very real way, to the origins of one of our most cherished Christmas traditions. The discovery of St. Nicholas's tomb in Myra was a momentous occasion, but not everyone was convinced. As with any major discovery, the identification of St. Nicholas's tomb sparked a flurry of debates and controversies. Now, 
Let's delve into the maze of controversies and skepticism that surround this discovery. As you might imagine, not everyone was ready to accept that this tomb, tucked away in the ancient city of Myra, was the final resting place of the legendary St. Nicholas. Historians and archaeologists worldwide were quickly divided into two camps. On one side, the believers, bolstered by the archaeological evidence at hand, firmly backed the claim that the tomb belonged to St. Nicholas. They pointed to the location of the tomb, the inscriptions found, and the historical records tying the saint to Myra. On the other side, the skeptics questioned the authenticity of the discovery. They argued that the evidence was circumstantial at best, and not definitive. They insisted on more concrete proof, such as DNA testing, to substantiate the claim. They also highlighted the lack of historical records, indicating that St. Nicholas was buried in Myra. The debate raged on, with each side presenting compelling arguments. The controversy added another layer of intrigue to the already fascinating tale of St. Nicholas, the real-life figure behind the beloved Santa Claus. Despite the controversies, the discovery of St. Nicholas's tomb in Myra remains one of the most intriguing chapters in the story of the real Santa Claus. So what can we take away from the story of St. Nicholas and his tomb? We've journeyed through the life of St. Nicholas, the legendary figure behind Santa Claus. We've explored the momentous discovery of his tomb in the ancient city of Myra, Turkey, and delved into the controversies and skepticism surrounding it. Whether you believe in the story or not, the mystery of Santa Claus's real identity and resting place continues to captivate us all. And as we approach the festive season, let's remember the spirit of giving and kindness that St. Nicholas embodied. After all, isn't that what Christmas is truly about?